Welcome. Today's topic in question is explain the basic structure of a C program with example. Let's see the basic structure first. The basic structure of a C program starts with a documentation section, link section, definition section, global declaration section, main function section. The main function section has two parts, which are declaration section and executable section. Then we have subprogram section, which contains definition of various user defined functions. Now let's see what are these sections all about. Documentation section. The documentation section is a comment block with information like program name, author name, create date, last modified date, list of updates, etc. It helps in identifying and tracking the program. Link section. The link section contains file inclusion commands to include files with functions from system libraries. This gives access to predefined functions for performing specific tasks. Definition section. Here in this definition section, we define constants to use later in the program. Global declaration section. Like constants, we can also have variables which will be used later in the program. These are global variables as these variables can be accessed from any function. Along with global variables, we also declare our subprogram functions or user-defined functions here in this section. We only declare function here. We do not define the function here. Main function section. Okay. So this is the most minimal part which must have to be present in a C program. The main function section, it is a function. The code execution starts from here after the code has been compiled. This has two parts, declaration part and the executable part. In declaration part, we declare variables and in executable part, we write executable statements. These two parts, are also available in user defined functions. Subprogram section. In this section, we define those functions which we have declared in the global declaration part. Before we finish the explanation part, one thing to note is that only the main function section is the required part for a C program to compile and run. All other parts are optional. Now let's see a sample program with all these parts included. Okay, so here, look at the first highlighted block of code. These lines are actually comments. This block is the documentation section where we are setting up information for letter use like name of the program, author name, etc. Then here in line 8, we are including a system library. This is the link section. We are linking the stdio.h header file with our program. This header file contains functions for standard input-output operations. We need this to take input from user or to display information on console screen. In line 10, this is the definition section. We are defining a constant which is max array length and setting 20 as its value. In line 12 and 14, this is the global declaration section. In line 12, we are declaring a variable max input length and setting its value as 15. And in line 14, we are declaring an user defined function called add numbers with two parameters of float type. Okay, this is the main function section from line 16 to 26. However, line number 17 is the declaration part of the main function while rest are executable part. In declaration part, we are declaring a variable, local variable, and setting its value to 50. 
In line 19, we are printing data to console screen. Here we are accessing our defined constant. In line 21, we are again printing data to console screen. Here we are accessing our global variable. And in line 23, we are calling uh, our user defined function and printing its value to the console screen. At last, we are returning zero as we declared our, our as we declared our main function as integer type. So we must return an integer from this function. The last block of code is the subprogram section. This function add numbers. We have declared these back in the global declaration section. Here we are defining the function. So this was the basic structure of a C program with explanation. Thank you.